The intention of this bill is clearly to stop any such uh, use of uh, the stick against uh, this country, and that's, that's what it does. It's a, a protection, it's a, uh, a safety net, it's an, in, an insurance policy, and it is a very sensible measure. And, and in a spirit of, of reasonableness, we are conducting those checks in accordance with our obligations. We are creating the sanitary and phytosanitary processes required under the protocol and spending hundreds of millions of pounds on helping traders. Under this finely balanced arrangement, our EU friends agreed that Northern Ireland, and this is a, a crucial point, Northern Ireland would remain part of the customs territory of the United Kingdom, able to benefit from free trade deals with other countries, which we are now beginning to strike, and ensuring that goods not, not at risk of travelling to the EU, and that is the majority of goods going GB to Northern Ireland, the majority of goods uh, travelling uh, to the, not at risk of travelling to the EU, do not have to pay tariffs. But the details of this intricate deal and the obvious tensions between some of its provisions can only be resolved with a basic minimum of common sense and goodwill from all sides. I regret to have to tell the House that in recent months the EU has suggested that it is willing to go to extreme and unreasonable lengths, using the Northern Ireland Protocol in a way that goes well beyond common sense, simply to exert leverage against the UK in our negotiations for a free trade agreement.